prior to today, I've made a decision. I had decided to keep my grief private and home. But today, I have to record on what the world to know. What a mother goes through when your child is stolen and executed for no reason. India Kager, my daughter, was 27 years old. 27, my baby. Sitting in a car at a 7-Eleven with my four-month-old grandson, Roman, in the backseat. Virginia Beach Police SWAT, not a regular uniform team, the SWAT team ambushed my daughter's car, blocked her car. They fired the... They threw a flashbang grenade at her car, knowing she was in the car, knowing my grandson was in the car. They fired 30 rounds! 30, 30 rounds! Who does that? How do you do that? You know it's a woman in a car. How do you do that? 30 rounds! 30 rounds! And they executed my baby in less than three hours of her being in Virginia Beach. She lived here in Maryland with us. And they won't release the names of the officers. There were four SWAT officers fired on her for Virginia Beach police, but there were many more involved. How do you have a conscience? How do you do this? Please help me. Please help me. I have two grandsons, Roman. He was in the car. India protected him. She had bullet wounds in her back. I've seen her pictures. In her back, my daughter turned. In her back! Oh God, help me. I can't even tell you how bad this hurts. There are no words to articulate this. I'm gonna put it out. I won't stop fighting for my baby. I won't stop fighting for India. I won't stop fighting for Roman. I won't stop fighting for, for, for Evan. And I won't stop fighting for Mr. Perry because he did not have due process of law. There was no arrest warrant out for him. But my daughter was in the car. They saw her. They took her life. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? How do you do that? And you have a conscience. How do you do that? They're with their families. I don't have my baby. Please help me. Please. <laughs>